What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the legend of Zelda? <laughs> Welcome back to Do You Nerd, where myself, Tom, and the lovely Lady Lacey are trying to see if we have 1,000 Zelda items in our collection. And uh, I, I think we're off to a pretty good start, so. you know. <laughs> so let's jump in with something kind of big. The Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia. I love what Dark Horse and Nintendo have been doing with these hardcover books. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so well done. The quality is truly in them. You Again, you have that nice hard cover. You've got this reflective gold print on the cover. I love the Triforce design here too, with Ganon, Zelda, and Link all in their respective roles. We even have like a little bit of corner on each side, like not faded, but like muted corner filigree going on there with the little Triforce in the bit in it. When you open it up past the map, you've got these gorgeous, glossy pages, huge pages, which make for huge images. Though these pictures are great in size to really see all the details, the text is so tidy. It really is. It's seriously an encyclopedia. But I mean, that's great because there is so much of the Zelda lore to take in from a whole history of games. So you go through the historical records, which really brings together some of the stories from those games and how they link up to one another when they actually do. Then you get into other lands and realms. So you're really looking at some of the fun offshoots from the Zelda games. You look at the different races, you look at the geography and the nature, and then the database. After the monsters and demons, when you get into all of these items through all of the games, everything you would need to know about Legend of Zelda is right here. Even a close-up look at the dungeons, and it just goes on and on and you go through all the enemies you go through the archives which gives you this great developmental process of the games showing how some of the maps were made oh holy cow and then it breaks down the games themselves and it's like you read this and you yourself are going to be a tome of knowledge for the legend of zelda <laughs> Moving on from something very big, let's go to something small, something teeny tiny, something that even Navi has to squint to see. And funny enough, it's actually in your fairy garden. It is. Yeah, I found this really cute little master sword that's stuck in the rock that is from the Breath of the Wild, the scene where you find the, the sword and everything. So it's a little rusty looking. And when I saw that, I was like, that is perfect size for my fairy garden so i put it in my fairy garden there's forever a sword in the stone in my fairy garden that's great <laughs> i love it too because it like you said the size is perfect for it so it fits excellently and it's kind of like an easter egg if you're looking at the mm -hmm. fairy garden you know you see all the fun things that you have going on but then you see that and you're like is that the master sword <laughs> yeah of course well one more thing is uh check out the old triforce <laughs> is strong with this one i love this shirt it's it's link skywalker with his little r2 fairy 2 r2 navi 2 r2 navi 2 R2 uh, hey, that works that R2 works nav two. <laughs> so instead of hey look listen you just get a bunch <laughs> of <laughs> keeping those in there he communicates via a system of beeps and whistles he doesn't say bleep blap go like this <laughs> try that bleep it to boot boot I love the mashup shirts though. Whenever yeah, it, they're any, our favorites. I yeah, think even beyond the Zelda stuff, when it's anything that mashes one fandom with another, you know that crossover form. I love it, but this is a lot of fun. Luke would be a badass with a lightsaber too. Just I'm pretty seeing. sure I've seen Luke make that face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just sit here and listen. In case your T-shirt gets a little cold, don't worry. We've got something for that. Look at this hooded blanket. It's a nice kind of a a soft fleece yeah, material, I would say fleece. and it's it's not too big of a blanket, but it does have that hood. Something that I like to do 
with these blankets that we have, these themed blankets, because mm -hmm. we have a few. We've we gotten do. them from yeah. uh, like the mystery boxes mm -hmm. and such. Mm -hmm. I actually like to lay them out on my B-roll table as kind of a fun backdrop or, or like a, a fun, what would that be, just a carpeting for the stuff to set on top yeah. of? Yeah. So it's not just the same plain wood, you know, just it adds a little something more to it. And when you got that blanket and you're getting all nice and comfy and snug, you're going to need somewhere to lay that head. On a cartridge pillow, no less. This is a fun cartridge pillow. I found this on Etsy. Someone had printed off the cartridge. and I mean, they did a pretty good job. You could pick whatever game you wanted. But my favorite part is that it even has the stuff on the back of the cartridge. The ports um, for where it goes into the machine. And then, you know, the, that board. So I, I, I just loved all the little detail in it because it's just a printed fabric pillow. And why did you go with A Link to the Past? Because it's your favorite game awesome. of Zelda. That's so awesome. How sweet is she? You've seen five items from us. It's time to turn it over to one of our nerdlings to see what they have in their Legend of Zelda collection. What's going on everyone? James from Nerdstillery here. While Zelda may not be my all-time favorite video game franchise, I do find myself collecting a lot of Zelda memorabilia. Why is that? Well, they just have a lot of cool stuff, right? Even my two 3DSs just happen to be Zelda themed. Now that's not what I want to talk about, but it does tie in. I think it's really cool when you come across promotional material because oftentimes this stuff gets thrown away and forgotten. So when I came across this at a store many years ago when I first started collecting, it had to come home with me, and that's this Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds pop-up display. This is one of the many Zelda games I haven't beat, but I did play quite a bit of it when it first came out and rather enjoyed it. I really wish I had a way to play DS and 3DS games on an actual TV as I find handheld consoles to be just uncomfortable to play. Anyway, I look forward to seeing what others have to show off. Thanks for having me, do you nerd? Back to you. Damn things out of tune. Seriously, one of my favorite things about these clips has been the fact that it's always something new to mm -hmm. me. Like something that I wouldn't even think of, but you know, now it's like I'm either gonna be on the hunt for or you know, specifically be searching for. But it also really shows just how much fun stuff is out there. Whether it's official, whether it's unofficial, whether it's something that they themselves have created. I mean, there's so much Zelda fandom out there. It's awesome. It is awesome. I love it. Good. In the meantime, give the video a like, because who doesn't like Zelda stuff? And leave some comments down below on what you thought of any of this. Our illustrious guest, another link in the description. Go check out their channel. And let us know if you think we're going to make it to 1,000. <laughs> I don't have a doubt. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> Staring at ghosts. I'm looking at the names on the day. <laughs> the as you open it up past the map, you've got these gl glossy, glossy, <laughs> glossy. <laughs> Fourteen pages of full color glossy, glossy. <laughs> Master sword in a in a rock that. That's fine. Just start over.